Hello guys, how you guys doing? Welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Let's Play or Yeah, I said that right, okay. Um and this Enderman Enderman, wow, I'm retarded. This pig man is not cooperating. I'm trying to get a little selfie with him and he's not working with me. Anyways guys, this is episode fifty one. Um I sat here AFK'd over the course of four days. And I do apologize for not putting this video out sooner. Um, I kind of last lost track of my days. I actually thought yesterday was Sunday. Which is funny because I watch Game of Thrones, so I should have known that yesterday wasn't Sunday. <coughs> you may be wondering, what is this? This is my alternative to an ender portal. I tried moving it even like 30 blocks in that direction, in both the nether and the overworld. And it just wouldn't work. I kept on linking to the bottom portal. Even the one that goes to this portal would link down there. So, this right here is an Ender Pearl elevator. I'll show you how it works when I come back up. A little speed runway. And it's a good thing, like, right at the end of the AFK. And the reason why I stopped AFK was because. The game froze and it's a good thing that it did freeze because wham those four are truck full i did go behind i got a little access right here i mean i have to pillar up every time but i did go behind and look there is five double chests and then the this light turns on and then there's two double chests after that of buffer space and so uh, those ones are full up this one's almost full and I think, oh no, these ones aren't even full. I got almost a single chest of glowstone and almost a single chest of redstone. Um, here's all the goodies, other goodies I got from witches. And more goodies. I don't have any in that chest yet because this one isn't filled up, obviously. But um, if I would have known that in a solid four days, like four days and nights without stopping just afking i just let it sit for four days that that's all the redstone and glowstone i'd get i wouldn't even wouldn't even have put a filter for them i would have just let them come in maybe put another one of these miscellaneous chests here at the end now um as you can see right there i made it go oh ooh, made it go straight down uh, hmm. Now I'm gonna go back up and show you. I got some progress in the Nether as well. So, wait, what's in here? Oh yeah. I did finish this up, and it is half slabbed on the outside, so you don't have to worry about any nasty spawning out there. All right, I got this chest right here that's chock full of Ender pearls. And all I do is stand about in the center, look straight up, and throw an ender pearl. It smacks onto the string. Oh, that was bad. That was bad. Oh, why? Why? Oh, I'm a fool. I am a fool. I forgot to put my feathering falling boots on. So I have to let my health regen a little bit, so let me eat some food. Alright, the reason why I'm staying here is because of the vines right there and I'm sneaked. That, I should be good. I believe you take only one heart fall damage when you have feather falling four. Yeah, it was one heart. So, that's how that works. Usually you don't take that much damage. Because of where this portal ends up, I'm actually going to regen before I go through. Bop, 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 bop. So, dang it. I actually meant to grab some zombie flesh while I was... Wait, zombie flesh? I think I can use that to trade for emeralds or gold. So, uh, I forgot to grab some arrows or string while I was down there to fill this up. Um, I mean, I don't need it. Because I only press this button twice the whole four days. Once to turn it on and once to turn it off. So it works pretty well. Um, I do need the dump. I, I know a way I can double up the efficiency. And that's just making it where the two spawning platforms alternate. So one side is spawning while the other side is flushing. And then, vice, and then it swaps. 
and that would be pretty simple. It would be, I would simply just have to um, put an inverter on one of the sides. All right. Oh, I can't read. I'm gonna go in the Nether and then I'm gonna eat because I do not. <clears throat> I don't know why my voice just got suddenly very loud there. I I do not like have that weird food glitch in the Nether. Now, some speaking of weird glitch, when you break a portal, um, and then you come back through, it'll um even if the portal you like completely broke and took it out. Um, it'll still spawn you right here. And same with the overworld, if you break a portal and take it completely out. Um, it'll do that same little, little glitchy glitch. And it's quite strange. And to fix the glitch, all you'll have to do is just reload the game. But it's, it is quite annoying, so let me just get this out in case I need it. Ooh, that needs to be repaired. Oh, I just saw that wither. Alright. I want to look down so you guys can't see what's going on until after I get past it. Hey, look at the little guy over there. <laughs> um, anyways, oh, okay. Look down. Okay, I'm sprinting. Look down. Look down. Look down. Look down. Look down. I don't want. I don't want to show you guys. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I think I'm safe. I think I'm safe. All right. Here we go. Check this out. These little archways is your selector panel itself. There is no interaction that you actually have to physically touch. Now, as far as the wiring goes for this, and of course there's... Man, I really wish that magma, magnum torches were a thing in vanilla Minecraft. That'd be so useful. Anyways, each of these is a little bud switch. I'm sure there's more a more compact way to do this. And I did fix the wiring on this, by the way. I did have it wrong. These furnace eye, furnace eye. These fern eye are here to keep the pistons from screwing up the other blood switches. And the spacing I have them apart, they're pretty easy to go next to each other. Um, so I can expand it out. Um, pretty. Hey, what a jerk! A joy. Oh, wow, I don't know why I just went like all super stereotypical Jersey accent there. Alright, um, this is the selector panel, um, and if I can show, if I can do something, this right here, this little crazy mess, this is actually for the indicator light, alright, no blazes in sight, as you can see there's a light right there, 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 and there, and these indicator lights let you know which track you selected. Um, and when you pick a tr track by going through a specific archway, it lights up these lines of redstone. Go away. Um, and then, let me just go over here where I can just... I could have just jumped over the wall, you fool. Alright, I'll show you how this works. Don't worry, those are going to be hidden by upside down stairs. Alright, right now I believe it's this one. Yeah, this one is the first one. This is going to be the default location and then this one if you look over there that's the second one if this one that's the whoop that's the second one really and this one is the, uh, okay and then and this one is the last one All right. Uh, okay. Let's get these nasty little jerks out here. I went to go throw my water down a second ago. Oh, I am going to die. Where's that other blaze? I can hear it. I see you down there. You don't think you think I don't see you, but I do. Get out my redstone. Did you just make me break redstone? Yes. Jerk. Alright. 
Anyways, these little lights right here, these torches, I should say, not lights. And of course, there's people outside shouting. Okay. Because this first one is selected, this rail is turned to the left. When it's not selected, they're like th the junction is like that. Um, that is for the powered rail, so that's unimportant. Um, so as you can see, there's oh, we got those. I didn't place a torch right there. But anywho, um, so there's that. Now let me just show you the takeoff. Oh, not that way. See, the thing is, you come here, you click right there, and see that string? Watch this. That string activates a bud switch, which is pretty cool. And what that bud switch does is, it's, this is really cool, guys. All right. Um, this torch turns on before this torch. And when a track gets lit up like that, in that particular fashion, this should be lit but because this one is lit first before this one this will not update until you do like a little black update next to it now if i were to ride this back there we go it pops back up due to this right here and then the cacti breaks the cart goes back into it and it's automatic and um dismount and it's a one click go so you only have to click on the minecart itself and off you go. Now the bit I'm having a, um, some issue with is actually, I'm having issues with these effing blazes being over the place. <clears throat> yeah, you, you cannot imagine how difficult, oh really, wow, he's a sniper, he, he aimbot and everything, jeez. I really need to block those attacks to be honest. Um, Anyways, I'm having a little bit difficult time to figure out the return system. Like, I know how to... Oh, nope, oh, nope, oh, nope. Oh. I know how to take off here. But I'm just having a difficult time figuring out how to return. Because they're going to separate the different tracks going that way. But I want the return to be on the same track. But I want it to um, split off somehow. The, so they all come onto the same track right here. Oh wow, that was a good shot. Let me just get away from here real quick. What really sucks about blazes though is they spawn in a light level of um, um like 12 or high lower. I think that's what it is. It's 12 or something like that. Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to die, so let me just get out of here. Oh, that clever little jerk. If he would have withered me, I would have died. <sighs> okay, guys, let me just take care of these nasties here. And I'll be right back. Jerks. That looks retarded. I'm back. I did take care of those nasty little... Oh, and I forgot that they still spawn. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, that's annoying. Oh, wait, good. Anyway... <laughs> Alright, let's get rid of this fire. Where'd that guy go? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah, oh, that's annoying. Oh. I think I'm two blocks high. Holy crap, I didn't know that. Ah, oh, this is annoying. Now. What I'm trying to do here, let me just, hmm. 
This is really difficult. Oh, that's going to take forever, so I'm going to have to actually take a bunch of netherrack to my industrial smelter back in the overworld. Alright, let me just make some wood, make some sticks, and some of these. Oh, oh, okay. Is that all I'm missing is redstone? Oh, right. What am I missing now? I think that's enough. So let me just come over here. Let's put the, that stuff. Grab some iron out. Let's go ahead and make a few stacks of those. Alright, now let's go ahead and plunk. I'm actually going to keep the redstone and stuff on me, so. Hmm. Ah. Stupid, annoying people and their stupid, annoying base. Get rid of the sticks. Grab some torches. Yeah, okay. Oh, I didn't know these little guys hurt you. I knew they had a one heart instead of half heart like a normal slime, but... Alright. <sighs> Will you go away? Oh, that was a fail. Oh, they're spawning all over the place. Ah. Uh... So annoying. It seems like when I built the wither farm, they wouldn't spawn at all. And now they won't stop. When I was building this thing, I didn't have nearly this much problems. Are they mad at me? Because I did accidentally. I did accidentally um hit a pig man. All right. Apparently they're not still mad at me, so let me just uh, I'm I think I'm gonna make the track blocks out of stone bricks simply because I don't have Nether okay. A stack of those will work All right Let's come this direction Huh <laughs> diggity Okay. I don't think I need to come out that far, so I don't know. Let me just go ahead and figure this out. Let me go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hey, yeah, I think I'll come out that far. So, hmm. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to get rid of my food. I want that to stay in my inventory, so let's go ahead and I don't need torches here. And go ahead like that. So let's go ahead and plop that right there. Doink, 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 doink. All right, so it's there. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Dang it. Need to get some smooth stone and make levers. I said smooth stone, didn't I? I meant to say this stuff. Why are you spawning there? All the stupid spots to spawn. Unless he spawned somewhere and then went there. Alright, let's go ahead and select this track.
All right, that doesn't affect anything. All right, so let's go this direction. And is this on? All right, good, 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 good. I don't know why I just said good like that. Okay. This direction, let's see. Ah, crap. Hold on. I'm not sure if this is the right line real quick. Hold on. I really wish I could fly sometimes. Oh, balls. This is the alignment, isn't it? What? Oh, wait. Yeah. Alright, guys, I'm getting seriously annoyed with you jerks so that means I can't have these directly next to each other so let's go ahead and one two three appreciate it if you'd go you know screw off or something hold on I just went all that way just to come back over here and kill this guy go away put that walls there for a reason and then you're like oh I'm just gonna disregard your walls <sighs> seriously oh my goodness Alright. Should be good. Okay. And by should be, I mean they're gonna spawn again as soon as I start building again. Hold on. Let me just go like that. Then, like that. Go ahead and go like that. Alright, that's good, that's good. Alright. Oh, did not mean to jump that far. This is so annoying. First, I have to figure out which one... Why did you spawn right there? God, you guys... You guys are not making this easy for me, are you? No. <sighs> okay. I'm going to have to start the incline. Because my idea for this track is to have it like that. This is obviously going to be a transparent block, not a solid block. If it's a dang it. If it's solid block, then I will suffocate take damage so anyways it's going to one of these tracks is probably going to be this is the third location and I just kind of drooled a little bit that was odd so I think location one default location I think that's going to be this one right here this is going to go to the stronghold base so let's go ahead and, and this is stronghold which means that Location 2, which is going to be spawn, 
which is this one right here, is going, is that has to go on top of, or this has to go on top of that, because this will stop before this one. So, but I also want to make it in such a way that coming back will not connect to these tracks, it will connect to this track. And doing that is, could be fairly simple or complicated, depends on how I do it, I guess. Hmm. So I'm going to get a little organized, and I'll be right back, guys. Gotta, I'm going to get organized on how to do this, and then I'll get back, back and see if I get a little bit of work done. I'll, I'll show you what I did. Alright, be right back. Hello, guys. I'm back. Now that was a huge pain in the backside. Um, and for, I literally just turned off mob spawning just now so I could show you this without having to run around from mobs for 10 minutes. And I'm going to turn that back on in a moment. Um, I'm just going to, and after I turn it back on, I'm going to go to the base and throw away a couple of diamonds for doing this little cheaty doodle. Um, but Here's the idea. Alright. You smack that thing and go. And I just realized that that is not necessary. Because those don't connect anymore. It goes on a separate track. My original design hasn't come back this way. But I realized that's not going to work. So we go this way. Go la di da di da. Go up these. Go up these. And then you fall down. But on the way back, you go la di da di da, and you go this direction, and voila. There is a reason why these are half slab. Nothing can spawn right there because it's one and a half blocks. I guess baby um, pigmen can spawn right there, but if I put a light right here, they shouldn't be able to. And then this one right here goes to the stronghold, so it goes on top, and then the bottom one goes to spawn so let me just kind of it, it doesn't go all the way it just kind of goes right here but um anyways the top one will go right here as you can see i cleared it out head level that was weird um and then right about here i'm going to <coughs> I, I i just had a, like a beard hair in my throat or something i don't know that was weird um, right here, um, this track, I'm probably going to have it just abruptly stop right here. Um, and then have a button that when I press the button, a piston comes out and then it powers this and sends me on my way. And then the track up here is going to come back, is going to come back, come back, is going to come down and then go off, you're off to the right, go to the stronghold. That one, I'm not going to need the little thingy thing but yeah and just in case you are wondering redstone blocks there I believe that they're transparent blocks so you can pass right through them without getting damaged as you can see right here and oop. and if I go what there we go Go here, I'll go by itself. What? Okay. But anyways, um what I'm going to do is this track right here, this railing. Railing? This little empty space, because there's going to be an empty space in the center for now. Until I maybe if I add more tracks, because I um, over here, I'll show you something that I plan on doing in the future. Eat food. What I plan on doing in the future, because this is a brig, a brig? Yeah. That right there is a bridge section. This is a bridge section, and I believe that this is a bridge section as well. This whole intersection. Uh, I'm going to clear this out. Um, and look how close it is to the bedrock wall. So that means that I can actually build a proper wither skeleton farm right here. And there's a big, nice bridge section over there that's 
next to Bedrock, I believe. I think Bedrock is pretty close to over there. But that's a lot of slabbing I'll have to do. I got either slab or just dig it all out. Um, but maybe make a proper wither farm over here, like with um, shifting floors where I can AFK at it and everything. Um, yeah, that's all I wanted to show you so I can actually turn mob spawning back on. The reason why I'm going to have to glass on the side of this because these guys are pretty accurate and they will shoot you right off the cart. Ah, you little jack. Okay. Oi, will you guys leave me alone for five seconds, honestly. You know what? I don't even care about that track. Screw it. I'm just going to go into the overworld and just pay those diamonds and end this episode. <laughs> stupid, stupid things. <sighs> I think I, um, maybe do a little bit of work in between episodes of... Unspawn? Arising? Uh, that's not even a word. Making it where they can't spawn. So, that would be helpful. That would have sucked if I would have missed. I mean, it wouldn't have got hurt too bad. Oh, I don't even have diamonds here. Dang it. Do I have emeralds here? No. Do I have anything good here? No, I do not. Alright, hold on. Where is my... Taking a week to eat. Hold on. Spider, leave me alone. I'm eating. Still eating. I'm going to take down that sorting system, guys. Um, and I'm going to replace it with a... I'm going to have a little collect doll chest where the miscellaneous chests are at the end. I'm going to keep those there. But instead of an auto sorting system, I'm going to manually sort it. So what it will do is I plop them in like a dump chest and I'll take them to that um, wall of chests at the end. And then I will edit. Really, why'd you just randomly stop spraying? That's so dumb. Then I'll, then um, at that point, I will go there and kind of manually sort it myself. Because really, the PS3, um, you can't, can't really handle a full-fledged sorting system. I know on Xbox, it can handle more. Like, uh, I, I do play on Xbox 2, by the way. Um, I did build one on Xbox that has a hundred items in it, and it did, it barely lagged. Now, um, I do know that, um, too many more than a hundred items, it would lag super crazy. I just realized something. I think I have diamonds in my ender chest. No, I do not. Oh yeah, they're, I just have them at the end. So let me just plop that down and... Do I have... Do I have lava anywhere around? Oh yeah, here. Can I make it? No. Okay. Wow, this lag though. All right. I think four diamonds is enough. I think that's worth, I said worth, dang it. 
I keep on saying that. I think d four diamonds is enough for going into, for turning off mob spawning. Like I had to actually exit the game, load the game with host privileges on just to turn off mob spawning for that little portion of the video. That was so annoying. And then when I turned it off, like so frustrating. Oh, I forgot. I forgot to leave the minecart there. Dang it. <sighs> so the Nether, it's dangerous, guys. I wonder how bad this would lag if I harvested these melons. Oh, okay. Bad enough that I had like a five, like I almost said five minute. That was a little bit of an exaggeration. I heard a door. Is there a door? Wait a minute. I heard a door. Did you guys hear that? Where is that? I'm not hearing things, am I? Oh man, that's going to bug me. Where is that door at? Oh, I know where it's at. It's underneath there where all the wiring for that is. Oh. Wait. That is so weird. How is it that I never noticed that? It's this door right here. No way. If this lag would stop, I can get on this block, but yeah. So it goes here, and then block updates that door. Weird. Okay, that should stop that now. I can't believe I just tore apart my stronghold base just to find where that's coming from. That was bugging me really bad. Hmm. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Bit of block lag here, so let me just. <sighs> Watch what happens with this. See, it's so laggy over here. The redstone. Look out! See how fast that took. Ghost blocks. See. The circuit that this is on, that's actually supposed to open instantly. Watch. It's, I think another reason why it lags so bad is um, because of the sorting system. At least the redstone. But I, I got the hiccups. Oh, I hate hiccups. You know that door could be 
one of the reasons why that random door there could be one of the reasons why my iron farm wasn't as efficient as it should have been but anyways guys that is enough for this episode oh, man oh man that was so frustrating hope that was entertaining for you guys to watch if it was do leave a like rating down below if you enjoyed this video and if you're new to the channel by all means subscribe that's 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 how you support me and how I make more friends and the more friends I have the more friends I have I guess um, and also you should totally share this with your friends that way your friends can be my friends friends I think I just said friends more time than the entire series of friends